Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's me, the Legendary Porpoise, and today we are going to be building this really cool, like, little desert villa thing going on. I, I don't know. It, it just looks really cool. I wanted to do a little something out of my comfort zone, do something a little bit different than what I used, uh, you know, than just simple medieval building. So, stay tuned. Let's get on with the time lapse through the intro and get on with the walkthrough. Hey everyone, so as I said in the beginning, this is a really simple but nifty little desert build that I think really comes together nicely in the end. Using all the sandstone type blocks as a base palette, mixed with some yellow plaster and stucco, this created an atmosphere that I'm absolutely new to, but it was really fun to work with. It was a little difficult at first, but I got a good bit of practice, and while building, I think it came together for a very good finished product. Now, I'm really thinking about experimenting more with different architectural designs, so this will be the first foray into that. So let me know below what you think and what I should try next. And of course, if you like the content, definitely hit that subscribe button, the alert button, and that thumbs up, as all of that very much helps the channel. Now, that's enough for now. I know it's uh, been a minute since I put out a video, but let's put on a little bit of music, let you enjoy the time lapse, and I'll meet you back again for the walkthrough.
All right, everybody. So here is the build and just a little entrance. I didn't do a lot of landscape. And as you can see, I built it in the middle of a desert, just kind of kind of in the middle of it. But either either way, I thought it fit the theme. So um, this is a really cool like desert villa fortification bandit area. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's a mixture of things. I don't exactly know what it is, but I like it. So what we'll do is we'll just do a quick uh, walkthrough and give you a flyover and all that good stuff. So coming through the little gates there, we have the small little square. And this is, of course, you know, where just a handful of people would be living and fortified, probably in like a small pass or something like that so they can rob and kill people. Because, you know, that's that's what a lot of people do in the in these fantasy worlds. But uh, as soon as we turn to the right, you can see we have some tanning racks. We just have some basics here and there. Um, here we have the cart and the, some coal some uh an axe just some weapons just stuff like that kind of i tried to limit the block palette on this one as i wanted the theme to stay this you know um arabian kind of desert theme and uh, a lot of the you know blocks are more medieval like so i just wanted to kind of keep that theme that's why a lot of the blocks and items are kind of toned down and they're very basic so uh, but yeah so we have that we just have this little overhang for storage you know things like that going on if we take a left we have an arrow bundle and you know we have a small seating area and this is where you would put the horses have them a you know have them a little bit of shade have them protected inside the walls of course we got some hay and stuff like that to feed them good stuff good stuff and then of course we have uh this little area here more storage it's in the shade you know it's comfortable a little bit cooler and it would keep goods um well from not perishing and you know for for your food and stuff not to go bad so going up the little stairwell here um, we have this small little area with, you know, a bow and plenty of arrows. So, you know, if people were coming from from this direction or even if they were coming from the front, you could shoot down on them. Um, and I know there's no wall going across the entire way. And look, I actually forgot that. Look at that. Oop, that's not it. Hold on. Let me fix that. There we go. Okay, now I'm, now I'm happy. But even though there's no way for you to really, like, walk these walls here... I still think that this one little tower looked really cool, and of course we're using boards, and they kind of glitch out a little bit when you look at them. You can see some of that, um, like artifacting it looks like, but they still look really, really cool, and I, I, I still like really enjoy them. So I think that top came out pretty cool. It was really difficult. I didn't include in the time lapse because it does take a while to get those to to function properly, uh, but I still hope you enjoy it anyways. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go on into the sleeping area. So. Here we have this really cool, it's lots of wood, lots of, uh, you know, oak and stuff like that. Just kind of, you know, there, there wouldn't be a ton of wood, so I didn't want to add it a lot, but it is here. And, um, and of course, we have just a small little fire pit right there for cooking and some beds for sleeping with some weapons, some chests for storage. Just kind of basic stuff. Like I said, nothing too crazy. And then in here, it's just a small little storage area that's tea tiny. Uh, <laughs> but it's there. But I like the way this roof came out. I mean, using the desks and the clothing uh, hangers and all that kind of stuff. It just, I don't know, to me, it's kind of a cool design. I uh, really, really think it came out okay. So now that that's all complete, let me give you a little bit of a fly around. And this is what we're looking at. And, and I really think it just looks kind of cool. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's fancy in my opinion. I like it. I think it's, I think it's pretty nifty and I, I don't, I've never built a desert themed anything really. So this was definitely new to me. It, it took me a little while to kind of get out of my comfort zone and really build it. But I, st I think it was, I think it was all worth it in the end. All right, so everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you being here. Like I said, sorry about the delayed, you know, um, period between videos, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still going through a lot in my personal life. So, you know, just kind of working through all that and, and work itself, got some things moving there and uh, just sold my house the other day. So, yay, that's that's awesome. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers for supporting this channel. Uh, thank all of you for watching and sharing this video with your friends and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It really means a lot. It really helps bolster the channel and get the word out there about these, you know, these fun builds and stuff like that so more people can enjoy them. So once again, thank you so much. I appreciate everything this community does. Y'all are absolutely fantastic. But I'm definitely going to uh, keep on building. See y'all again for the next time. But this is, of course, The Legendary Porpoise signing off. I hope you have a good day and happy gaming.